age. So the problem is the root. And Jesus was in the morning walking together with disciples and they saw what he did. That the fig tree dried from the root. They didn't say it dried from the top. They said it dried from where? From the root. And Peter called him to remember Jesus. Master, ah, the fig tree which we cause, is here, which thou cause, not which thou bless, which thou cause is withered away. You see it? And Jesus answered said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this word, mountain. The mountain is the root. It is not the one you climb, the physical mountain. No. The main, the main trouble is the root. <laughs> I'm telling you, the main, the main trouble is the root. It's just that it's growing. It's growing. It's growing. If you get to the root, it will collapse down. It will just go down. No, I'm telling you. For example, you want to cut a tree. You don't start from the top. Where do you start from to cut a tree? Where? From the root. That's why this prayer we pray every day is from the root. We pray some kind of prayer. From the root. The problem you go through is from the root. From the root. If you can deal with the root, there's no problem any. There's no problem anymore. So he said, For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say, Unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, shall not doubt in his heart, but shall have, but shall believe that whatsoever things which 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 he shall which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he what he said. There are two said, they say it. Number one, say it shall come to pass. Say it everything. You will have everything. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So you, you so you are literally words away from your harvest. I repeat again. You are what? Literally words away from your harvest. Do you believe the words you speak? If you do, you will have whatever you say. Because Jesus skillfully chose his words and believed what he said. He obtained quick result by causing the fig tree. He didn't doubt. Whenever you cause disease, don't doubt. Say, hey, disease, I cause you from the root. You cancer, I cause you. You fibroid, I cause you. You disease, you disease in my family, I cause you. I cause you. I want to say that, do not doubt it. Just believe. When you believe, it is then God will start walking and going into the root cause of that disease or sickness and begin to uproot it. It can take one day, two days, one week. Is that not correct? Or three days or one year. That's right. But you, you have to continue to say it. <laughs> I'm telling you, because it's deeper, it's deep. So once you cause sickness, Say, hey, sickness, I curse you. From my life, I curse you from my family. Hey, disease, untimely death. Today, I curse you. Amen. Don't doubt. Believe it. Believe it. Do not want doubt, but believe it. As you curse it, just begin to go forward. Don't go backward and check it. No, 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 because Jesus never returned back. It was when they were passing. The disciples saw it. He said he not, he did not even take notice. <laughs> I'm telling you. But it was the disciple that saw it. Hey, master, master, look at what uh, you cause. It was saying, I told him, you know, have faith. Have faith. <laughs> so you can see now. So, so faith goes with it. If you cause disease, have faith. Say, hey, disease in my system, I come at you, die from the root. Just have faith. Amen. So depression that normally come at a certain season, die away from me. Have faith. Amen. Because I'm telling you, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, carefully consider every word you speak. Carefully what? Consider every word you speak. Don't pervert your words. 
Learn what you are saying and use words in the proper context. Ask yourself, you know, you have to ask yourself, is what I'm saying what I expect to see? Is what I am saying what I expect to see? Avoid idle words, perverted speech, saying things you don't believe. Speak the word of God only. If you, if you are able to speak the word, it is better not to speak at all. Do not speak at all. Don't be quiet. Do not what? Speak at all. Just be quiet. I'm telling you. So speak the word of God only because Jesus in Luke always speak the word to the devil. He said, hey, devil, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of who? Of God. God. So he always answered the devil with words. I'm telling you. He answered the de devil with words. So you need to answer every situation with the word of God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, Amen. yes, your talk. So whatever you think today will be delivered tomorrow. Your thought is today's seed for the fruit of tomorrow. Consider a thought today to take delivery tomorrow. You cannot escape the outcome of your thought. I repeat again, you can't do what? Escape the outcome of your thought. So be careful what you say. Any thought happened today will manifest tomorrow. Today's thought is the image of tomorrow. If you think great, if you think great, you can never end small. So break the limits of, of your destiny by removing the barrier of negative thinking. Your mindset needs to be rewired. Needs to be what? Rewired. Rewired. So break the limit of your destiny by removing the barrier of negative thinking. Never allow your thoughts to be caged by circumstances. Please, no matter how strong, low, how long they may be, think wide. I repeat again. Think wide and wide. W-I-D-E and W. I L D. Think wide and wide, and bring into cap into captivity every thought that is contrary to God's word. Let's open Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians ten, Second Corinthians ten, Second Corinthians ten four to five, Second Corinthians ten four to five. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, yes. but mighty through God to the pulling down of, of strongholds, mm. casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, mm. and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. You see, so the weapons of what we use, they are not carnal. Amen. Do you see it? Strongholds. You know, that you see today, you use the weapons, spiritual weapons against it. Do you see my brother and my sisters? You see, for the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. You see, they are not carnal. They are not physical. They are not flesh. They are not flesh. They are not flesh. They are not flesh. But they are mighty through God. You see, through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now, what are those strongholds? Number one is evil imagination. These are strongholds. Evil what? Imagination. I'm telling you. So you have to cast them down. Every high thing that has only itself against the knowledge of God, that means you are bigger than God. That means you are questioning God again. You are questioning Him. You are questioning Him. You understand? 
It's, and he said, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of, of Christ. The highest weapon to bring down evil, evil devil or devil, demon, is obedience. What I say is what? Obedience. 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 That is the highest weapon against spiritual warfare. If you can obey God's word, you will see those evil demon or stronghold will be cast down. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So obedience, obedience, obedience to God's word. Follow his instruction. Go with the word. You are obeying God now. I'm telling you. Obeying God, you know, once you obey God, your life, you discover that some people in your life will be cutting away from you. Mm. I'm telling you, you. You might throw people because you are not obeying God now. And they can't understand your way anymore because you are obeying God's order. You are not taking to the order anymore. You see them cutting away from you. And this is what God wants. God wants a cut off when once you obey. So the highest weapon is obedience. Obedience is bigger than prayer. Am I right or wrong? <laughs> That's right. Yes, Pastor. I, I'm telling you. That's you can pray all the prayer and speak in tongues mm. in capital letter. <laughs> But if you disobey God, forget that prayer. Mm. Forget that prayer. I'm telling you, my brother. So obedience, obedience, obedience. The, I'm telling you, the Bible says so obedience is better than what? Than sacrifice. sacrifice. Obedience is the strongest weapon. I'm telling you. So, my brother, don't ever imagine evil. Don't ever imagine evil. If you don't imagine evil, you will never see evil. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you. They may be back, they may come around you, but you don't even know whether they exist. You know. <laughs> when it's too much, you have to say it. You have to say, look at it. For out of the rest of the heart, the mouth speak it. So faith will always speak. Whatever you cannot say is what you do not truly believe in. I'm telling you. Let's see Matthew, uh, uh, sorry. Let's see 2 Corinthians 4 verse 13. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 13. We having the same faith, mm -hmm. the same spirit of faith, according yes. as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. Do, do you see it? The believe and therefore we speak. You see it? We have it the same. So faith is a spirit. Faith is unseen. But you are spoken it because you too, you are a spirit. Amen. Do you see it now? You are not a spirit now. So as you are spirit, you want the soul to agree with the spirit. Because the soul, the body, they must agree together. So faith is a spirit. Apostle Paul is saying something. He said, we having the same spirit of faith. Who are the we? Mm. Abraham is there. Abraham had faith. Amen. He was counted for him, you know, counted for him for what? For righteousness. Abraham, Sarah, we having the same. They are not different faith. It's the same faith. That's the right. same faith. The same, the same. The same, when Sarah was almost 90 years old, the same, the same faith that he believed, the same faith, this is a man of 99 years old, but he can still produce. Oh, can he mm. Could you imagine? So faith is a spirit. Continue saying it. Do not stop saying it. I am here. Don't stop it. The prayer might be there, but don't stop saying it. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. You are using faith now over facts. He said, We have the same spirit of faith according as it is there. Yeah, as what? It is written. written. That is past. You see? Past. It's written. So I cannot cancel it because it has been written. Amen. Do you see? So what has been written? Cancel what is happening. That's what right. is written? 
cancel what is happening now. Amen. Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and for evermore. Hebrews 13:8. That is it. It's the same. It never changed. It's the same yesterday. That's right. <laughs> so, my brother, we have the same spirit of faith. According as it is written, I believe, I first believe. You see, Apostle Paul said he already believed. And therefore, have I spoken. So what you believe is speaking it now. Amen. So we also believe now, and therefore we speak. So presently, therefore we speak. Therefore we speak. So what you say is the proof of your faith. I'm telling you, what you say is what? The proof, the proof of your faith. Of your faith. Are you blessed today? Amen. Are you blessed today? Amen. Yeah, my brother. Now, what about Moses? He sent to spies, right? Mm -hmm. To the promised land. They returned and turned around and said something. He said, we be not able to take the land. That was fear. But two of them said, let us go up at once, for we be well able to take what? The land. Our God, we give them into, he didn't say themselves, he said our God. Our God. As it is written. Hey. As it is written. The God that divides the Red Sea. Mm. As it is written. So that you see the past now. Yes. For what is happening. What is written. Cancel what is uh, happening. The you see? I'm telling you. You see, our God, we give them into our hand. They all saw the same thing. Is that correct? That's they saw right. the same thing. They saw giant. They saw the promised land. With fruits, with meat. And they also saw giants. But because of different perspective. Mm. I may be seeing something that you are seeing. I may be seeing something that but you are seeing from the, from the behind. Mm. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's why people have different, different what? Understanding. Understanding. That is why it's better for you and I to have an encounter. To have what? An encounter. So it is from that encounter you'll be speaking. I'm telling you. An encounter. Because Moses only have an encounter. Don't forget it. But because of different perspectives, they were saying different things and God said to Moses, say unto them, as truly as I live, say the Lord, as you have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. So God does to you according to what you say in his ears. So whatever God hears you say is what his hand will perform for you. God's hand will never perform for you greater things than what you are saying into his ears. There are many things that happens to you and you are either blaming God or blaming the devil. But the truth is it was your choice. It was what? Your choice. Your choice. Your choice. Your choice. Your choice. I don't know what you want to say right now. I'll give you three minutes to be opening your mouth now. I'm going to speak what you want to say. Go ahead and speak it. Go ahead and speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Speak it. Open your mouth wide. Open it wide. At this time, what you expect to see. At this time, open, open, open your mouth because it's the one that brought you out of depression, out of diseases, out of sickness. Yes. Out of those things that the enemy would have killed you, but it kept you alive today. What do you say? What do you say at this time? God, I bless your name. God, I thank you. Thank you for my healing. Thank you. Thank you for my miracle. Thank you for my breakthrough. Open, open wide your mouth now. Begin to say it. Begin to speak it. Begin to say it. Begin to speak it. Open, open wide your mouth. Open wide your mouth. Decree, declare. Tell him, thank you, Father. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me, for taking me out of the hands of the Egyptians. Thank you for taking me out of depression, out of diseases, out of untimely death that would have happened. Father, I thank you today. Ah, I am returning back the glory back to you. Open, open, open. He said he will feel it. Once you open it, it will fill your mouth. If you fill your mouth with gold veins, uh, begin to speak, open, open wide your mouth, open wide your mouth, and tell him, tell him, thank you for the blessings upon my life. Uh, 
Thank you for the glory that is risen in me. Thank you for the light that is shining. Thank you for I'm walking. I, I am not I am not dying, but I'm walking. Thank you for taking me out of the hospital bed. Thank you for not allowing the enemy to have the last thing on my life. Thank you for taking me out of depression, out of diseases, out of out of those things that the enemy thought I would have been. Begin to open. Open wide your mouth, uh. open wide your mouth, uh. open wide your mouth, uh. open is that you will feel it. Just open your mouth, you will feel it. Feeling it means you start remembering. You start remembering, it's not giving you, it's not giving you what is of how he kept you, of how he kept you, of how he kept you. Of how he kept you. It just wants to open your mouth wide. Just open it, open it. Then you will feel it. You will feel it with with you will feel it with how he took you away from that sickness, from that diseases. From the hands of those, those evil, those, those, don't begin to open your mouth. He said, We will fool it. Father, we say, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For your glory, for your glory, for the light uh, that is come upon me. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace, oh Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me alive when no one was there with me. You were watching me. You were keeping me. You never forsake me. Today, I am giving you back your glory, Lord. Begin to say it. Open up. Open wide your mouth. Uh. Open wide your mouth. Uh. He will feel it. He will feel it. He will feel it. He will feel it and make you to remember how he kept you. Make you to remember how, how he delivered you from the hands of the enemies. Thank, Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus. Dependable name we pray. Amen. Amen. Are you blessed today? Amen. Yes, yeah, so be careful.